we've reached the end of the road. And now we're headed to the land of Rucker and West Forth, the mecca of street ball. Home to more legends than seconds you've been alive on this planet. New York City, home of Duck League Volume 2. We traveled deep into the heart of Brooklyn, where we built the Duck Cathedral for the main part of this competition. For the Duck League Finals, we'll be leaving the great house of Dunk and heading over to the streets of Lower East Side for the championship. Our chosen dunkers will be competing in 16 unique dunk challenges, and each challenge winner takes home a stack. As the competition progresses, the challenges will get more intense and the lowest scoring dunker will be getting eliminated. The last dunker standing will be getting 50 stacks in cold hard cash and take home the coveted Golden Rim Trophy and the title of Dunk League Champion. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Let's get it poppin'. Now before we get started, let's take a look at the competition. We already have three spots locked from Duck League Volume 1. Guy Dupuy is the reigning champ, so you know we had to bring him back to defend his title. They see me jump now and they be thinking I just got into the game. When I've been here, when these guys are still wearing diapers. Antoine Ball came in second place in Dunk League Volume 1. I'm just out here to have fun and let my work take care of itself. We got J.C. Clark, a.k.a. The Jumper. I am one of the best jumpers, the highest jumper, so having that plus the creativity, it makes for a, a very formidable opponent, I would say. And then we grabbed a new blood from Miami. Jordan Sutherland, a.k.a. Takeoff. Whoa! I just try to bring something new every time I touch the court. So I'm trying to be the next great. Isaiah Rivera, AKA the Puerto Rican Airbender. I want to be the best dunker out there. I'm a long ways from that, but I'm young and I'm working hard. I'm not going to stop until I reach the top. That man, CJ Chip. I want to make a living off this. I just want to be able to do this every day for my life. Then we got our LA crop of dunkers. We got my man Chris Staples, AKA Everybody Hates Chris. I believe my dunks will be better than everyone else's, so just go out there and do what you do. It's not really to think about what other guys are gonna do, it's more about having your own game plan. We got Michael Purdy, AKA the AZ Air Bandit. It comes down to just getting up. So if you can fly, then let's fly, baby. That's what we're here for. We got Doug Anderson, AKA the Big Time Smasher. I like going to competition with other people. I actually want them to succeed and make their dunks to make me have to work harder. Then finally, since this is Dunk League, we always looking for the best. So I got one more wild card that's about to throw off the whole competition. Not all dunkers live on that U.S. soil. He did the unthinkable, the impossible, the amazing. That's right, Dunk fans. We heard what you all were saying last season. So Kill Gannon gets the wild card this year. I, I really plan out my dunks. I plan my, my strategies. Kind of just like a game of chess. You're just ready to not just do your dunks, but to strategize. Now that you're here, it's time to meet the judges. Uh, I got the nickname Professor in 2003 because uh, famous MC Duke Tango said I was schooling people on the court. 
I'm looking for creativity. I'm looking for wow factor. We're looking for difficulty. All those things weigh in, but seeing it when the stakes are high and when the lights are on is always an exciting thing. They call me the elevator because I go up high and I'm powerful for dunk. Basically, I take it to the next floor. I'm looking for power, stylish dunks, being consistent with their dunks, and just to bring their overall A game. I feel I was kind of like a pioneer of that. The dunking becoming its own sport is taking off tremendously, and I'm glad to see these guys making a living off of this art form. Gentlemen, welcome to volume two of the Dunk League. This competition right here is called Down From Day One. It's simply each one of you gets 90 seconds to put together your own highlight mixtape. The judges will score you on style, power, grace, creativity, and efficiency. The man with the highest score gets a stack. The order in which you dunk in has been randomly selected. And first up, all the way from Arizona, that man Michael Purdy, AKA the AZ Air Bandit. Let's get it poppin'. One thing about going first, you definitely gotta set the scale. You know what I mean? You, just, you definitely gotta place the bar up here. No nerves. A little bit. We got 130, and here goes my man, Michael Purdy. Uh oh. Let's see how they grow them in Arizona. Hello! This is a new challenge for me, just the whole dunk league uh, atmosphere. These are different hurdles where they wanna see your vert, your creativity, your patience. It's gonna be a challenge for me, but uh, I, I think I can pull it out the box and uh, deliver it home. We go, we go do it right. Heard it! Oh! That is the end for that, Mr. Purdy. It was so easy. I'm like, let me crush this. Well, definitely was in there. Crush that. It wasn't All the way from the dirty, dirty, here goes my man Antoine Ball, AKA Southern Hospitality. Hello! Oh, God. Once the competition started, I just go in a mental stage that I got to get the job done and just. Give it all I get. 115 left. Yes, sir. I think he kissed the top of the rim. Antoine Ball. Give him a round of applause, Antoine Ball. No matter what you do, if you feel like you can't do a lob on this floor, or you can't go do this or do that, just make your dunks. This is my key right here. <laughs> I can do this. I'm good. Next up, all the way from Marietta, Georgia, here goes my man Jordan Sutherland, AKA Takeoff. I like how you starting this already. Oh, almost. One minute left. Oh. Yes, sir. He's very, he's very graceful. I believe I can fly. Yes, sir. Give it up for Jordan Sutherland. Grind don't stop. If I learn anything from this man, Grind don't stop 24 7. Next up, out of Orlando, Florida, here goes my man Christopher John, AKA CJ Champion. It's a battle against myself, to be honest. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, this is a big competition, but I just know I, I got my own dunks. I have my plan. I have to make sure I do it. And it's up to the judges to see if it's better than these guys. Get it, boy. Now, that man CJ might be the youngest man here, but it looks like he's trying to leave his mark. Let's go! Oh! Is that what new money look like? Do it, do it. It's another one! Do it. You can and we got a lot of challenges coming up, so hopefully I could do something that's gonna shock the judges. I wanna stay in. I don't wanna be the first out, that's for sure. The newcomer is coming out of the woodworks. Hello, no. I like how you wait and you feel that confident. I feel you. you just went down 15 seconds. You only did three dunks. You went for that first one. Man. Three, two, one. Hello! Give it up for CJ Champion! I 
learn that from him. That's his dunk. And next up, our current reigning champion of the dunk league, my man Guy Dupuy, AKA the French villain. Champ comes out firing. I'm just coming to get these wins like I always do. I don't care whatever is in my way. Whoever is there, whatever dunk, whatever you bring in, it don't really matter. Here we go. 30 seconds left. Yes, sir. Hello. Give it up for Guy Dupuy, y'all. Everybody misses this once or twice. I'm in perfect, so I feel very confident about my position. Right there. And next up, all the way from Kalamazoo, Michigan, my homeboy Doug Anderson, aka Ducky Fresh. Everybody's gonna be competition. Can't say anybody better than anybody because you never know. Somebody can shock you and win it all on you. Go! Fresh. <laughs> I'm glad we still got life in the competition. We need the rims for the rest of the week. Here we go! Look, back back. God Hello. damn, Doug. No, the right. judges are jotting. Hello! Damn. Oh, my favorite dunker. Doug E. Fresh! I went out there with a plan. Freestyled a little bit, but still came out a hell of a lot better than what I expected. So I'm happy with it. Next up, all the way from Puerto Rico, Isaiah Rivera, AKA the Puerto Rican Airbender. One minute left, one minute left. The lineup for this contest is crazy. Like, I honestly have never seen any other contest like this. It's a really hard question to ask, like, who do I watch out for? Because you literally have to watch out for everybody. Hello! Ew. Give Isaiah Rivera a round of applause. I check, I check. Uh oh, we got something special. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Next up, out of Sudbury, Canada, that man, Jordan Kilgannon, aka the Myth Killer. A really big arsenal. I probably have more dunks than anybody else here, so hopefully I get to to show a little bit of that today. He wants to talk to you. Hello? Yeah, white boy over here tripping. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. Hello! There you go, my guy. Give him a round of applause anyway, y'all. Jordan killed that. Wait, 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 wait. I can't even miss the last one. I thought I had it. Yeah, it was in. It, was, it went in and just went out. Next up, all the way from Detroit, Michigan, my man Chris Staples, AKA Everybody Hates Chris.
have mercy. Yeah, I'm excited. My adrenaline's ready to go. I haven't even dunked the ball since my last contest, so you know, I just feel like all that adrenaline, all that energy is going to come out today and show them what I got. Dunk please right here. Staples. You know, uh, it's not about the ones you miss. It's about how good are the ones that you make. So, good. Next up, representing out of Fresno, California, here's my man Jonathan Clark, aka the Jumper. Clark. Oh my Hello. God! Effortless. Effortless. Assistant. I've never seen that. Things are about to go upside down. Hello! Mentally, physically, spiritually, I've been putting blood, sweat, and tears. Everything that I've done, I would say, in the past year has been for this competition. One minute left, one minute left. Oh! oh. y'all each judge will be scoring dunkers on a scale of one through ten making 30 points a perfect score bunch of guys stood out that was a hard round to to judge i got one two three four five six guys got nines and tens to me four four guys you know they really they really impressed me you know especially chris staples doing my dunk the slingshot that really stood out to me. Jordan reversed the ball back, caught the ball back. The kid Christopher, that first dunk was, was, was crazy, but you know, he had to give me something else other than that. I gave a couple of tens, a couple of nines, and overall, Chris Staples made me come down off the stage and go eye level, because that was crazy. <laughs> overall, it was cool though. They, you know, they got to bring it the rest of these rounds. We just got through wrapping up challenge one, down from day one. Top scoring dunkers gets a stack of cold hard cash. And for those on the bottom, luckily, this is not an elimination round. And here we go. That's 50 20s, $1,000. Now let's go to that scoreboard and see who receives it for today. At the bottom here, we got my man Michael Purdy and Antoine Ball. Let's see if they can fight their way back up. In the lead, we got the reigning champ, Guy Dupuis, tied up with Chris Staples. Now you know what this means, fellas. Y'all can either split the money or do a dunk off. One dunk a piece. Split it. Split it, I'm already split. We have a friendship developing here and Chris Staples and Guy Dupuis, they gonna finish it off with half and half. Can I get a dub? All right. Get my money, man. Uh, One, two, two, three, four, five, six. Let me get a dub. 25 and 25. Plus. Congratulations <laughs> to the two cats in the first round. Down from day one, <laughs> Guy Dupuis and Chris Staples. We just witnessed the release of so many mixtapes. Even Troy Ave just gave us a call trying to get a cosign. The judges have spoke and Guy and Chris or you're down from day one winners. Now you know we keep it moving here at the Dunk League. And next up are two challenges we like to call How High and High Flying at Nine. We'll see if anyone can break the record for the tallest dunk and who can bring the craziest style to the nine foot rim. See you in the future. Next up, boys, we got the How High Challenge. The rim that you know and love at 10 feet has been raised up to 10-6. Each dunker has three attempts to land a dunk, and if you can't fly high enough, you're out. After each round, we'll raise the rim even higher, and I'll decide how much. So the man that gets up and puts it down on the highest rim will win a stack and receive 10 points. This is not an elimination round. However, all points are totaling across every competition. So if you don't show up in this round, it might bite you in the ass later on. Let's get it poppin'. 
might might have a stress fracture in my hand for the third time in my life. But pray to God everything goes well. First up, here go that man Chris Staples, aka Everybody Hates Chris. Go! First attempt is good. Chris Staples clears it. Next up, that man Michael Purdy, aka the AZ Air Bandit. Go! Hello! My man Antoine Ball, aka Southern Hospitality. Go! Hello! Next up, Isaiah Rivera, aka the Puerto Rican Air Bender. That man Jordan Sutherland, aka Takeoff. Hey! Hello! This 10 6 rim, not looking like it's giving our dunkers any prop. Next up, that man Christopher John, aka CJ Champion. That is the first attempt, no good. Go get it, CJ. Let's get it. Second attempt, no good. Here we go. Third attempt, no good. CJ Champion does not complete. Next up, Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. Hello. Next up, Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Yes, sir. Next up, Doug Anderson, AKA Big Time Smasher. Go! Hello! Next up, Guy Dupuis, AKA the French villain. Go! Hello! Round one of Challenge Two How High is completed. We only have one man that can't continue that man, CJ Champion. This looks too easy. We going 14 inches above regulation. Raise it to 11-2. You feel me? We're at 11-2. We're about to see which one of these high flyers can go the highest. Let's get it popping. First up, Chris Staples. Oh. Let's get it. Oh. Third and final attempt. Here we go. We right here. You went first. Next up, that man Michael Purdy. Antoine Ball. Hey! Isaiah Rivera. First attempt is in the books. Oh. One more. Next up, that man Jordan Sutherland. Hello. Wow. Next up, Jonathan Clark. Yeah. Jordan Kilgannon. Hello. Wow. Talk about I can't grip wow. it. What's wrong with this dude, man? He don't even go up Next. unless it's all calculated, like. Right. Doug Anderson. Guy Dupuis. Hello. It's getting crazy in here. We got eight dunkers left as Isaiah joins CJ on the bench. That height gave some dunkers some trouble. I'm raising the rim two inches this round. Now we up to 11-4. Let's get it popping. Here go that man Chris Staples. Oh. Second attempt in the books. Third and final attempt. Oh! Chris Staples is eliminated.
Brady. Next up, that man Michael Purdy. Oh, judges, are we calling that a dunk? I mean, he got it up there. He, got, he dunked it. It's a bucket. Fingers is getting swung around. Well, what? Yes. Oh. Nah, you gotta reboot. No, hell no! Don't even look over here. Hell no! Oh, that's two failed attempts. One more left. Take off. Jordan Sutherland. Oh! Judges, are we calling that a dunk? Okay, do it again. Uh, do, it again. Right. do it again. Say do it again. Only because he'll get it. Like, yeah. he'll, he'll get it. Ah! Oh, man. I hope, I hope he gets this. I don't want to send, send the kid home. Oh, he took a shirt off. Oh, it's serious man. now. I'm even still I might have some minor, on, Doug. A minor fracture. I don't know yet. Got to get an X-ray. Next up, Jonathan Clark. Hey! You're making this look too easy. Jordan Kill Gannon. Hey! Doug Anderson. Oh. Okay, you human. That's two failed attempts. One more left. Hey, oh, hey bro. Are French. you kidding me? Hey, that was by the grace of God right there. Guy Dupuis. Oh, first attempt. No good. Oh! That second attempt, no. Champion is eliminated. After 11 foot four, Gee, Ball, and Staples join the bench with five dunkers left to test their flight. Next up, round four of Challenge Two How High. 11 six. We trying to see which one of these guys is taking that stack home because it keeps going up and up. Let's get it popping. First up, that man Michael Purdy. Let's go, Purdy. Oh. Ah. Next up, Jordan Sutherland. Oh. Jordan Sutherland is a true goon. He's dunking with an injured arm. Here we go. Ah, no, no, that's a tip in. Let's go. One more left. That's it. Judges, are we calling that a dunk? He dunked it. That was really graceful. I wouldn't have counted better personally, but it's two to one here, so we'll count it. So, he the thing. It. Next up, Jonathan Clark. Whoa, this dude dunked it with the left. Uh, Jordan Kill Gannon. First attempt is no good. In the books. Oh. Hello! Oh. Kill Gannon is gone. Next up, Doug Anderson. Oh. No! Whoa. That was a missed attempt. Two more to go. Oh! That's two failed attempts. And final attempt. Ah, Doug Anderson is eliminated. I have no power in my right hand. 11 six. what's going on? Round five, we're up here 20 inches above regulation. 11 foot eight inches. We trying to see who's trying to jump out the building. We still got Purdy, Clark, and Sutherland fighting it out for the cash. Let's get it popping. 
first up, Michael Purdy. First attempt is no good. Second attempt, no good. Let's get it going, man. And Michael Purdy is eliminated. Next up, Jonathan Clark. Oh. Woo! Nah. Get me to the promised land. Oh. And final attempt. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Three attempts, no dunks. Clark is out. Last up, Jordan Sutherland. If he can get this one with a broken wing, then he wins a stack. Oh. oh. That is the first attempt. Oh. Second attempt is no good. If he can get this, he wins a stack. to the conclusion of challenge two, how high? And we got that winner at 11-8, all the way from Marietta, Georgia, that man, Jordan Southern. 50 20s, that's $1,000 for this here, how high challenge. Let's take a look at how our dunkers are ranking. Sitting at the bottom, we have Michael Purdy and CJ Champion, and at the top, we got a five-way tie. Jordan Kilgannon, Guy Dupuis, Jonathan Clark, Chris Staple, and Doug Anderson with 37 total points. After injuring his hand earlier in the competition, I have no power in my right hand. 11-6, what's going on? Jordan Sutherland rose up to 11-8 and won the last competition, taking home a stack. Unfortunately, after consulting with his physician, we've got to dunk her down. We appreciate the hearty show, and we expect to see him back in the future. Before we get into our next competition, I gotta say we've had a change in the courtroom. We have James White replacing special effects on the judges' table. I welcome my man, James Flight White. Now we just came off a of how high, Duncan at 11-8. Now we bringing it down to nine. This next challenge is a chance to get your numbers up. We call this high flying at nine. Each one of you has five attempts to throw down the most creative dunks you can otherwise never complete on a 10 foot rim. The judges will score you with the winner taking home $1,000 and the high score. Let's take a look at the leaderboard to see how our dunkers are ranking after two challenges. So let's get it popping. A lot of these guys don't practice on low rims and, and us dunk enthusiasts, we want to see people like Guy Dupuy practicing on a low rim and see how creative and crazy they can get. Uh, I have like one dunk and if it goes in, I think I should win. But I'm looking at Jordan Mizzard around. These duckers got five attempts, three minutes on the board. Let's get it popping. First up, 
Michael Purdy. Let's see. Oh, 2.40 left on the clock. Oh. Kanye mode has officially been activated. Oh, two more tips. Mike, that timing. There you go, he gonna have to get it and then. This is Purdy's last attempt. That is the fifth and final attempt. I was getting it every time you made it. When I seen you made it, it was boom boom. Yeah, it was like boom. Next up, Isaiah Rivera. Puerto Rican air pit. Oh. Second attempt. Oh. Let's get it cracking, man. Gotta do better than that, man. One minute left. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Hurry up and make the dunk. All right, Isaiah Rivera had to play it safe and land a dunk he knew he could make. What you think it's no, yeah, You over here, you thinking too much, bro. You know what you do? You do that shit on the regular and dunk something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, you looking at the crowd. Man, look at it. Let's go. They'll let you know what the time is. Next up, that man CJ Champion. Let's get money! Hey! CJ Champion, the young, coming it. for your money! Yo, that was stupid. Yo, that was... Can I get a replay? Christopher John has came out here, made his dunk the first attempt, and kind of woke the judges up. So now the pressure's on Antoine Ball, who's next. Antoine Ball is seeking redemption from season one. Show us what you got. Hello! Nice. That's nice. Get your big ass out of here. <laughs> How many deers did you eat in Alabama to get these beers? Probably like three. Next up, Chris Staples. Here comes Detroit's finest. Oh, that is the first attempt. Tell him. Oh. Ah. One minute left. One minute left. Chris Staples. Trying to show us what Detroit can bring. Hello! Chris Staples! Took a couple of attempts, but that's still like, that's crazy. 540 East Bay? What you think about my dunk? Huh? I mean, the same I think it was whack. Okay, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Who have you seen besides you? You missed four times. That's your shit. Next up. Jordan Kilgannon. Hey now! Oh wait, that look like it hurt. Did he break his elbow? Jordan might have hurt his arm on that one. What was that? Just messed it up a bit. Um, See, there's like a little dent right up in here, but uh, I was supposed to do both armpits, but it wasn't jumping like that today, so one it is. Didn't get the reaction I was hoping for, so that sucks. Here goes that man, Jonathan Clark! Wow! Is he trying to double East Bay right now? Between both legs? Is he up to this? Ah. Third 
third attempt. No good. Let's go, Jay. I'm not sure if this is even possible. One more attempt. Come on now. Ten seconds. Let's go. Hurry up. Do something. Get one. Get one. He didn't. He didn't slide it in the rim or nothing. Just... The double East Bay proves to be too difficult. Clark with a 360 dunk and the elbow in the rim. Let's we'll see what happens. Let's see what the judges think. Hopefully, I get some bonus points. You know, willing to try it. Next up, Guy Dupuy. Oh! Let's go, Guy. Oh! He said he need help adding a human prop to jump over. Let's get it! Hey. Hey. Cut the bullshit! Don't act like you ain't been done on 10 before. <laughs> Don't act like you get down. They said you haven't done on 10 before. Guy Dupuy with that hide and seek. Strong showing from the champion. Here goes that man, Doug Anderson. Time to get my... Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Is this a double win? I still had to make it though. I should've been. I didn't want to do two rhythms though. I wanted to do a full one. What a round! Our dunkers brought some crazy dunks. And now let's go to the judges to see what dunks stood out to them. They did a dunk and we over here were like, ooh. I give those a 10. So it's ones that stood out to me were like when Doug did the double windmill. Um, obviously he didn't complete that, but that was shocking from a creative standpoint. CJ's dunk was pretty impressive. The uh, the tap behind the back. Gee's was crazy, where he threw it from one hand to the other hand behind the back and, and got that down. So I was really going for stuff that made us jump and then also ones that could not be done on a 10 or that, that we haven't seen done on a 10 foot goal yet. When you get to nine, you gotta do something I haven't seen before, or at least, you know, step it up a notch from what you've done before, but add something new to it. So we didn't really see too much, but we seen a couple dunks that were like really impressive and uh, I know I can't do so. Nice. <laughs> Man, we just got through wrapping up challenge three, high flying at nine. We had some crazy dunk attempts never been seen before. And we got our winner. Let's see those results. At the bottom, we have Purdy, who cannot complete his dunk, and Rivera, who had to settle for less. Luckily for them, this isn't an elimination round. And at the top, we got a tie for the top spot. That man CJ Champion and Guy Dupuy. But you know what that means. Either you split the 500, or it's a dunk off. What's the decision, fellas? On dunk off? It don't really matter to me. Uh-oh. The young fella said, hey, old dude, it's on. Nine foot rim dunk off. Let's get it popping. That's all I'd like to see. Yeah. 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 Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! CJ Champion, one of the youngest of the group, calling out the champ himself. Let's see what he got. Here we go with that challenge three high flying at nine, the dunk off for $1,000. Each dunker has three attempts. Best dunk will be decided by the judges. 
First up, CJ Champion. Come for it. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what he's gonna do. Yeah. Smart. Guy Dupuis, aka the French villain. Oh. Uh oh. This is not normal. Uh -oh. He usually sticks his. Uh oh. Dunk. He said, I'm, I'm trying to do what CJ did, but take it away from somebody. It's not an attempt because it didn't hit the rim. 20 seconds left. This is Guy's final attempt. Decisions. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's the champ for you. Coming through when it matters. Will it be enough to beat CJ? Uh, I don't know. It's going either way. It could go either way. I don't know. So we just got through wrapping this up, man. You know, high flying at nine. We got that first dunk off of the season between CJ Champion and Guy Dupuy. Who y'all got, man? Because I feel like if this was, if there was a crowd and people were watching, the fact that he went over somebody would get a bigger applause. I feel like that would be the winner. It was it was a debatable thing for me, but I went with CJ only mm. because mm. he jumped off too. So it come down to me. <laughs> it's on you. We just got through wrapping up our first dunk off of the season between Guy Dupuis and CJ Champion. The judges deliberated. Let's see if the young buck CJ brought enough to topple the king. The winner, my champion of high flying at nine, is that man all the way from Paris, Guy Dupuis. Shout out to the young fella for challenging the OG. Man, I was close. Had a chance to say I beat Guy in something, but you know, I'll get another try. I'll get him back soon. Let's take a look at the overall rankings after a couple of challenges. But now we move on to challenge four. I don't know, I'm gonna just jump and find the rim. That's the best thing I'm gonna try to do. Woo. This right here is gonna be the crazy challenge. Challenge four, get your mind right. Lights flickering, all you need to do is focus in on you and the rim. You have one dunk, three attempts to get it done. The judges will score your dunk from one to 10. Let's see what kind of focus you dunkers got. Before we get it popping, let's see where y'all sit in the leaderboard. Let's get it popping. You can see the lights going crazy. Let's see what type of focus these fellas have. Two minutes on the clock, three attempts, one dunk. First up all the way from Canada, that man Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the myth killer. The myth killer is nursing an injury. He will be dunking with his opposite arm. so I can't do anything. Next up, here 
here comes that man Antoine Ball, a.k.a. Southern Hospitality. Go get it, Antoine. Nice! Man, am I having some flashbacks? Was that the duck ball tried in the finals of season one? Homie put it down this time in the damn dark! Well, what you gotta say? I like that. I'm just try, happy he's verbally speed. getting every yeah, word easy. right. Yes. No, no props. Dark. Feel pretty good about myself. No, I know. Next up, here comes that man, Christopher John, aka CJ Champion. Let's go. Antoine Ball just did the craziest 360 scoop. Tough, tough. Make me think. Making me think. Let's go, CJ. CJ Champion. Next up, here comes that man, Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. Oh, Clark getting flashy with it. And final attempt. Let's go, Clark. Let's go, yo. Hey! I see you, money. I don't know. That was crazy. I was giving them a the chance. Next up, that current reigning champion of the Dunk League, Guy Dupuis, a.k.a. the French villain. The champ and the flashing light. What is he up to? More tips. That French airplane is ready for takeoff. Next up, that man Isaiah Rivera, AKA the Puerto Rican Airbender. Oh! Between the legs in the dark, no problem for Rivera. Here comes that man, Michael Purdy, a.k.a. The Air Bandit. That is the first attempt, no good. Oh, I just gotta make the dunks. Two more tips. with a 360 windmill. I like that. Man, that's one of my favorites that he does. That's something unique. It's all him. Sick. You only need big hands to do that. <laughs> See this bone? I don't know why it come out like that. It's like a knuckle. Oh. <laughs> Your thumb got a knuckle? <laughs> that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Next up, that man Doug Anderson, AKA Big Time Smash. Oh! 
Y'all not ready for this. That is the first attempt, no good. I gotta give him some of that. Yeah, that was. Hold on, fellas. That was the only way I was gonna get this spot. You okay? Last and final attempt. Oh, 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 oh,
I like it. I like it, Twan. Last but not least, Doug Anderson, AKA Dougie Fresh. Welcome to Light Camera Action. Man, we just came to that conclusion for challenge four. Get your mind right. I had to go over and have a talk with the judges and get their input. And they came with a unanimous decision. The winner, Chris Staples, AKA Everybody Hates Chris, winner of the Get Your Mind Right Challenge. Here you go, Chris. It was good that I can come out with the victory. I felt like my dunk was the most original and a lot of guys don't do it, so, I mean, the judges made the right decision. And before we close this page to the chapter of Dunk League, let's take a look at how our dunkers are doing on the leaderboard. And at the top, a three-way tie between Guy Dupuis, Chris Staples, and Doug Anderson, while Isaiah and Purdy are still sinking at the bottom. Now we on the challenge five, back to front, side to side. You will each get three attempts to complete a dunk that has to come from the side of the hoop or from behind. You can either use an assist man on this one or you can do it yourself. Judges will be looking out for creativity and difficulty. This round, somebody gotta get eliminated. At the end of this challenge, the two bottom scores will have to dunk off to see who goes home. So challenging to go off the side of the backboard, to go behind the backboard, it's just not something that you can jump high and, and take care of. It's timing, this shows skill. So um, just make sure it's a clean, simple dunk and uh, do what I need to do to survive in advance. And if I get some money, hey, so be it. It's definitely got me out of my comfort zone. But we're going to see. That's what real ones do. We're going to adapt. First up in this round, here goes that man, the champion, Guy Dupuis, a.k.a. the French villain. Guy with his first attempt. Oh! Here we go! He did not touch the rim. Come on, man. See? Still there you go. Now that's two attempts. That should be three attempts. You've done like four. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Next up, here goes my man Antoine Ball, AKA Southern Hospitality. Oh, okay. that is one attempt. 
Oh, taking a page from the Staples playbook. Oh, that is two attempts. Final attempt. Here we go. That was nasty, boy. He knows that I can only do 360s. So where he go out there and do a 360 and punch it. Next up, all the way from Saginaw, Michigan, here comes that man Chris Staples, AKA Everybody Hates Chris. Hey! Chris Staples! Let's get it. Everybody hates Chris. <laughs> Next up, that man Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. When I did the armpit dunk, uh, I ended up hitting here with my bicep, and it's got kind of a little dent here. I have to be extra cautious. Looks like Kilgannon is still dunking with one arm. He can't That's move his The last and final attempt for the myth killer. Ooh. Oh, no good. Jordan Kilgannon cannot make the dunk. I think that went. Terrible, I mean, but whatever. I'm just being careful. Here comes that man, Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. Here we go. Oh, that's his first attempt. Hello. I like it. I like it. I like that. Mr. Clark. I was, looking at, I was looking at the rim and I was like, hmm, this is kind of nice. A nice little view up there. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Here comes that man, Michael Purdy, AKA the AZ Air Bandit. First attempt is no good. Oh, two attempts. Down to the last attempt. Purdy, here we go. His three attempts. Michael Purdy did not complete his dunk. He needs to do some soul searching. Next up, here goes that man, Doug Anderson, AKA Big Time Smasher. Fella. Oh. Mm. Oh, 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 Doug Anderson gets it done with no help. Oh, oh, oh what I mean, what? what? Help. Let me tell somebody about help, help you today. No, I don't need nobody to pass me the ball. Oh, no, what's up? What? I don't need what? nobody what? to hold what? the ball what? for what? me. What? Doug, what? Doug, you did, right? Hey, that's all you do. Hey, that was one. Yeah, so what? Yeah. So what? Yeah. Finally, finally. I don't need nobody one. to hold finally the ball for one. me. Here comes that man, Christopher John, AKA CJ Champion. Oh. I was trying to tell you. I was trying to tell you about the swing shot that CJ Champion. Oh, that is one attempt. CJ got some power, bro. A couple guys did some uh, fantastic things. Doug, he did something we've never seen before, a person thrown off the 
uh, side of the backboard to himself. Self. Yep. So we had to give him a big score for that one. That yeah. was that was nice. I had uh, Chris Staples at a 10, first attempt, jumped over oh, two yeah. people, oh, caught it, mm -hmm. did it effortless. I was impressed by that. Jay Clark was close to a 10, but uh, I gave it the 9.5, didn't quite impress as much as the other guys. Ball, Staples, and Doug. You know, that was my top three right there, man. Now we just wrapped up with challenge five, back to front, side to side. This right here is our first elimination round. The two bottom C's gotta have a dunk off to see who remains. But first, let's crown that back to front, side to side fella. 50-20s, that's a stack on the line. And our winner is... Another tie! Staples and Anderson will have to settle it out with a dunk off for the stack. Before we have a dunk off for the cash, we need to check these overall rankings to see who the bottom two dunkers are that need to dunk off for survival. And our bottom two C's that are going head to head to see who gets eliminated. My man Michael Purdy and Isaiah Rivera. Since we're having an elimination dunk off, we're going to mix it up a little with a dunk generator. The generator will randomly select a dunk challenge that all participants in this dunk off will have to complete and see who gets the money and who gets eliminated. Let's get it. Best swimmer, he puts his hands up already. Oh, that's crazy. Nobody. How y'all gonna get Nobody. Mr. Wimbio, that's Wimbio. With this double dunk off, we got Anderson and Staples dunking for the cash. And we got Isaiah Rivera and Michael Purdy dunking for survival. Here we go with that challenge five, money dunk off. I got Doug winning. He the best windmiller besides me. Everybody in the dunk community, they love to see this. Who's got a better windmill, Doug Anderson or Chris Staples? This is a, this is a battle of uh, the Giants, style versus power. Doug Anderson, power, pure power. Chris Staples, excellent style. Let's see who, who uh, comes out on top. First up, here goes that man, Chris Staples, AKA, everybody hates Chris. And we got 30 seconds left on the clock. with the Vince Carter windmill. Staples out here thinking he be Vince Carter. Next up, for that money duck off, here go that man Doug Anderson. I'm not scared of no Doug Anderson. Oh. Ooh. Lord, Lord, Lord. Before we go to the judges to see who walks away with that cash, it's time for that elimination dunk off. First up, here comes that man, Michael Purdy. I think dunking is like ballet in the air. I just feel like I'm the best in the sense of just like presence, style, unique timing and, and just craft. That's what makes me the best. Michael Purdy, it's time to fight for survival. Oh! Michael Purdy! 
Next up, here comes that man Isaiah Rivera, AKA the Puerto Rican Airbender. I kind of knew I was gonna get to this level, but I don't, like, I'm not satisfied. I wanna be the best dunker in the world. Like, I don't care who you are, my goal is to beat you. If I don't beat you, it's okay. I'm gonna improve and get better than you. 30 seconds on the clock. Can you stay alive? Whoa. Isaiah could not finish. I missed. That's all there is to it. Man, we just got through wrapping up challenge five, back to front, side to side. And we had to do that money dunk off. That money goes to... Kalamazoo, Michigan, Doug Anderson, AKA Dougie Fresh. $1,000 richer, now get your asses out of here. Sometimes power beats finesse. This is one of those times. I fell short in a few of them, and to finally get the one. I really want it. Definitely off the dunk that I'm very comfortable with. I'm not now we to our first elimination round. Both of these guys came in here, did they thing, represented their city, but unfortunately, somebody has to go home. And that person is. Hate to see him go, but representing out of Florida, that man Isaiah Rivera, AKA the Puerto Rican Airbender. We appreciate you in the competition, homie. I definitely see you soon. Something I, I kind of live by is you either win or you learn. You don't win or lose. The, I was like with 10 of the best dunkers on the planet, like literally the planet. And I learned something from each one of them. All right, fellas. The next two challenges will be team-based challenges. Our top two ranking dunkers, Chris Staples and Doug Anderson, will be captains and pick their squads. I need Doug Anderson and Chris Staples right on beside me. Now we got that Doug lead coin. We got rim, we got ball. Since Doug Anderson is in first place, we want you to choose it when I flip it. You ready, big fella? Ball. Ball is called and ball it is. He gets to pick the first player for his new team. Choose your teams wisely. Who's your first pick? Frenchy. That French villain Guy Dupuy, Doug Anderson's first pick. Chris Staples. With the second pick, who do you choose? Jay Clark. Jay Clark, AKA the Jumper. But number two for Doug Anderson. Who do you pick? CJ. CJ Champion, representing Orlando. Next up for Chris Staples, who's your second pick? Antoine. Antoine Ball from Alabama. Our last two picks, Michael Purdy, and Jordan Kilgannon. Who do you have? My favorite doctor. Let's go, Jordan. Jordan Kilgannon. And Michael Purdy goes over to Staples squad. Doug Anderson picks the injured Jordan Kilgannon over the bottom ranking dunker Michael Purdy. Shade has been thrown. Now the first challenge is the speed round. 
speed round works like this. When the clock starts, each member of the team must complete four dunks. Windmill, off the backboard, 360, and the East Bay. If a weak link be struggling, you got one joker where another dunker can complete it for him. Whichever team finishes all 16 dunks the quickest takes home the stack. Let's get it popping. If we win, we get points and they don't. So we're going to move that much further. We'll move. So it's like, it's important. It's so important. In the name of the game, yes, we all want, uh, you know, $250, but if you're not thinking about the $50,000, you're, you're kind of doing something wrong. Yo, speed contest, but I got picked last. Like, I ain't had the best speed score. You have to East Bay first. That's the most technical one. Man, I was about to. Are you saying East Bay? Yeah, I'm saying not. Why not? 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 Why not?
Man, we just got through wrapping up with Team Doug, finishing at 150. Next up, Team Staples. Let's get it popping. Three, two, one, go. Off the backboard, Perk. Off the backboard, Clark. Off the backboard, Staples. Off the backboard, Ball. Complete. 360, Perk. 360 Clark. 360 Staples. 360 Ball complete. Windmill Purdy. Windmill Clark. Windmill Staples. Last but not least, Windmill Ball. Oh. Windmill Ball. Now all four players have to complete. Ease, uh-oh. Through the legs. One minute, one minute. Clark. Oh. Yeah, there we go. One ten. Staples. Time is ticking. Hurry! Oh! Came down to the end and finished that East Bay. I don't know if I wasn't breathing, but I didn't make it. We had, we had, we right there. That East Bay is a tough dunk under pressure, but you know we did it. We did good, but you know, I fell a little short. It's tough. I want to. Too damn smart over here. Man, we just got through wrapping up that team speed round with the best time, 150. That first thousand dollar prize goes to Team Anderson. I gotta count up that money right here. It's a full stack being split four ways. Teamwork. That's 25 for that man, Doug Anderson, 250. Two fifty for that man Guy Dupuy. Two fifty for CJ Champion. And two hundred and fifty for that one-armed phenom making it through the competition, Jordan Kilgannon. But let's see what this does for the leaderboard. Now it's part two of that team challenge. Team Alley Oop! When the team loses the team, so if we lose this one, that puts us so much further down in the rankings. So basically, at the end of the day, it's 4 3 2 2. So everybody has to touch it. It could be boop, 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 you dunk it. Then we go three. So at first, I'll be off some creative, like off the glass, off the glass, off the glass, dunk. I'm going to throw off the glass right there. Yeah, I'm going to box my legs to Antoine. Okay, and then he's going to win me up. That game is for you. Make sure yeah. you're gonna make it, bro. Come on, bro. Don't miss me. Positivity, okay, bro. Come on, calm down. I know what I'm saying. Let's go. I know. Let's go. Let's go. 
All right. I'll catch it. So I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. Throw it off the glass to you, then you're gonna throw no. it. No. Just catch it wherever you go. It might, not, it, might not, it might not go off the glass. It might go high in the air. Catch it, throw it to Purdy. Purdy, throw it off the glass. Hey. Hey. I have the same, I have the same part of the vibe as you. I understand where you're coming from. I know. But we gotta be, sure. No, we gotta be positive as a team. Jordan, how you feeling? What, what better? What, what, how can you pass right now? I'm losing my left. Yeah. You're losing your left? Mm -hmm. If I, I'm gonna pass to Jordan. Jordan, you gotta throw it off the backboard, but just tip it to him coming this way. Once you get it, you can either you can put some flare to it. Keep gonna come right down the head. Give it to you. Do so some more dropping. Make sure you're dropping down the middle. So and then you just throw that to the glass, and I'm just gonna finish it. You want to pass high, bro? No. You can't give it to me low, and I have to do something. Not do it low, baby. Team ill. Now we off to that Team Alley Oop Challenge. First up, Team Staples. Here we go. like a well-orchestrated kill. Wait, wait. It's one. Yep. Hello! You don't get bruises on your wrist, you get them on in the elbow, in the biceps. It's a different level. It's level to this. The second one was all right. I don't like the swinging on the rim, but them last two. Anybody have something good? Yeah, you get one. I told you, squat up. Don't worry about me. I got to be mad. Don't worry about me. They go fast, they go fast. Don't worry about me. Welcome to Dunk League. That was some very, very impressive, off the fly type of move from Team Staples, real talk. Team Anderson, it's your turn to show the judges that you deserve a stack. Three, two, one, go. Come on, let's go. Huh? I like what they're doing right now, but no, nah, no. Nah. It's just it's just one of them shutdown situations. Like this, like somebody. We seen that dunk before. We gonna create 
creativity. Creativity. Gene Anderson. Both teams completed the alley oop challenge, but it's up to the judges. I mean, it was close, but I think we know. We know as well. Yeah, the cohesiveness of uh, the team staples was a little better. Uh, they had uh, more creativity. Uh, they put things together a little better in, in a short amount of time. I think they had a, you know, the best crowd reaction. And they had the best overall dunk with the, uh, the three and the four man. So uh, I got, I got to give them the win. Yeah, I think the fact the first group was so smooth, it yeah. was like a show. It like was. we were all here entertaining. And they shut, they finished. Yeah. Shut guys were standing home. up, running yeah. around. The second group, though creative and, and pretty smooth, they had to go for a few tries and I think the creativity wasn't quite as high as the first group, even right. though it was high. So. Definitely. Man, we just got through wrapping up that Team alley -oop challenge and the winners are, by unanimous decision, Team Staples. Hell no, man! One stack split four ways to Team Staples. That's two hundred and fifty dollars for that man Antoine Ball. Two hundred and fifty dollars for that man Jonathan Clark. Two hundred and fifty dollars for that man Michael Purdy. And last but not least, the team captain himself. Chris Staples for two hundred and fifty dollars. Shout out to Team Staples. Team Staples, we're in the building. We're in the building. <laughs> Before we let you go, let's take a look at our leaderboard to see what the team challenges did for your individual scores. With each team winning a challenge, every dunker gets five points added to their overall ranking. Remaining at the bottom, Michael Purdy is now joined by Jordan Kilgannon which can be our next dunk off for survival. And Staples and Anderson still on top. Welcome back, gentlemen. Challenge eight. This next round is called One and Done. The rules are simple. You get a chance to do a dunk of your choosing, and you each get the court to yourself. Nobody sees your dunk besides the judges. Remember, you get one attempt to complete the dunk only counts as an attempt if the ball hit the rim. So proceed with caution. Difficulty, style, and creativity are what the judges will be grading you on. You have 90 seconds for one attempt. The man with the highest score will get this guap. And the two with the lower score overall will go head to head in the dunk off. Let's take a second to look at the ranking before we start. Michael Purdy has to step up this round or he might meet his fate. And can Kill Gannon get past CJ? Let's get it poppin'. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna make, make this dunk, but I'm feeling confident. Right now, it's interesting because you don't know what other people are gonna do. There's a lot on the line. You can play it safe, simple dunk, but lose to, you know, someone who gets after it. But at the same time, you can try something more challenging and miss and fall in the rankings, so. Right now it's just pretty much fight or flight. So are you gonna step up to the plate or are you gonna go back down? They don't see the back of the sand and all that sweat, tears and you know frustration and pain and then we go through when we work. There's a lot of work behind that. You know, nothing comes easy, so. I go hard every time I can. Crazy. I wouldn't expect him to try that. That was that's a hard dunk. Yeah, all the bounce is tough. Because you only get one try and you gotta do something. Nobody knows what the other person did. Right. So they think. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do something crazy to top mm -hmm. it. It might only be about two or three maids. Mm -hmm.
People, like, especially in the dunk community, they see me as the man that's uh, part of the group that's on the way up. I mean, I got a few dunks. I did come out real strong. Me being short and with the shortest reach, I can't just be doing simple things. So I had to come out with more of my uh, unique dunks first, but I still have things ready. Uh, maybe not the most unique, but maybe still just as powerful and just as exciting. Typical man, just jump as high as I possibly can. You know, see how my, where my body takes me and just finish. Because a lot of people might try something they know they can't do just to impress them, but you have one try. You know, that's the chance I got is just putting one down hard, just getting out of here. We both know it wasn't ten, and we know it wasn't horrible. It was somewhere in the middle, but it's like, let's see where the range is at. I'm gonna have to get a little bit riskier. I, I do still plan on winning, so I just have to stick with the dunk I know it can make, and that will get a good score. And the rest is up to the judges. Trying to do the most. That's the beauty of this competition. That's this this particular one. Yeah. So when I go up there, assuming that everyone made a crazy good dunk, and everyone was perfect. So that's how I gotta at least go into it. So if you're not going hard, go home. Made it look easy, it was fast, it was clean. That's what that matters. Thinking about a two hand switcher or a 180 pump, something that add a little season, but enough to advance me. I've been kind of walking the fences on competition, so I'm kind of developing in the contest. I think Mike Brady, I think he was smart to do something that was, that was attainable, but not super duper hard, but still, still nice. I'm just do what I do and just live with the results. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna add a little more creativity to it, so I can like it. I'm just out here to have fun and let my work take care of itself. No props, there's no anything. It's one ball, one dunk. It's pure, it's the art of dunking. This is as authentic as you can you can get man and ball, nobody around, just you what can you come up with?
Jonathan Clark with a nice dunk to end the round. Come on, let's hear what the judges have to say. Uh, I just think uh, the competition went like I thought it was going to go. Uh, There's going to be a lot of difficult dunks being attempted, so it's going to be some misses. So you only get one chance. There's going to be some misses. Yeah, uh, I feel like the guys that went all out, that, that tried to go for the home run, they all missed. So we, we know those would have been tens if they would have went in, for example, Gee, CJ, a couple of these guys. But then the guys who did impressive but attainable, I, that was hard for me to score. I didn't really know because because they weren't tens, but they, then they weren't, you know, they weren't missed scores either. I think overall those guys came out on top. They said, hey, I'm going to keep it simple enough to where I can do it, but still impress the judges. That's who won out this time. Man, we just got through wrapping up challenge eight, one and done. Each dunker had one chance and by themselves right here and had the focus to get the job done. And the winner of this here challenge, one and done, and unanimous decision by the judges, and he is. Chris Staples, AKA Everybody Hates Chris. Fifty twenties as one thousand dollars. Chris Staples, winner of the challenge eight, one and done. Appreciate it. I see you, homie. One thousand dollars, Richard. These scores get added to the overall rankings, and now the two lowest overall rankings get to go head to head in the dunk off. And here it is. The two bottom seeds got to go head to head in the dunk call. Jordan Kilgannon and Michael Purdy. Now let's look at the dunk generator and see what the challenge is. Single person prop for Jordan Kilgannon and Michael Purdy. Let's get it popping. So it's a prop though. I'm not a prop guy, but I got enough to say I can do a prop. We will see. I mean, this is definitely a strength of mine. And I get to go second, so it's perfect. We back to another elimination round between that man Jordan Kilgannon and Michael Purdy. East Dunker has two minutes and three attempts. First up, that man Michael Purdy. Next up, all the way from Canada, here come that man Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. This is one of the best ones. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> we both know one that Mission Impossible, Jordan killed him. Who told you that? Who told you what time it was? We just got through wrapping up that elimination round. Single person prop. And the winner is, by unanimous decision, all the way from Canada, that man Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Shout out to that man representing or Arizona to the fullest, that man Michael Purdy, AKA Like Mike. See, I got a bad start from the beginning, so that kind of like up my whole regiment. But other than that, the contest has been smooth. Wasn't well, good enough. Dope experience, and um, I mean, you gotta live with what you gotta live with. You can't win them all.
Okay, here we go again. We call this the wall, and I don't believe I have to explain myself as to why. The height of the wall will be set at 42 inches. Each dunker must clear the wall and also make their dunk. If they hit the wall or can't make the dunk, they're out. Once everyone had gone, you guessed it, we raised it. Four more inches will keep going until one dunker is left. And that last survivor dunker gets 30 points and a stack. Let's get it poppin'. Test, but I think uh, for the wall it benefits somebody who can jump off of one foot. So um, if you can jump off of one, it's a little bit easier because you're you're kind of in motion as you lift that leg up. You, you already have half your body over the where the two footer has to elevate and then tuck their knees under them or figure out how they get their knees over. You know why? The ring, finding the ring. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never did anything like this. You see it in competitions a lot, and I tell myself, man, I never want to do this, but now I'm here. I'll do it. This is going to be fun. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that, like, this ain't this ain't going to be my strong suit. Being, I got, like, the shortest legs here, so I got to really kick to get over there. I'd be happy if I clear the first one and then take my adrenaline from there. Man, here we go at Challenge 9. The wall. Here we go. 42 inches. Clear the wall and dunk. You move on to the next round. First up, Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Dunk is finished by that man Kilgannon. Next up, CJ Champion. Shoot. CJ Champion clears Very the wall. Fun, Next man. up, the arrogant one himself, Guy Dupuis. Next up, Antoine Ball. Hello! That man, Jonathan Clark. Next up, here comes that man, Chris Staples. Hello! Next up, that man, Doug Anderson, AKA Dougie Fresh. Oh! Ooh. Doug Anderson slips and lets go of the ball. He is eliminated. Round for over the wall. Only one that didn't complete. That man, Doug Anderson. Now we didn't raise the wall up. Next up, that man, Jordan Kilgannon. Hello, CJ Champion. Lie, 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 lie. Jonathan Clark. Here comes Antoine Ball. Oh, no, that does not count. Antoine Ball is eliminated. Oh, man. Flashbacks again. Antoine Ball was the winner of last year's wall challenge, getting over 56 inches. <laughs> Just miss the ball slip. No excuse. That's it. Here comes that man, Chris Staples. Hello! Let's raise that bad boy one more time. Antoine Ball. Champion of the wall from last year has an early exit and joins Doug on the bench. Now we up to 50 inches. It's adrenaline though, it's a lot of adrenaline. You gotta just have fun with it. And then you just gotta have an attitude. A lot of guys going, going up there and they're worried about the wall. And then they're not even thinking about the dunk. So my, my thing is worry about the dunk and just get as high as I can and push my knees up as high as they can go. Hopefully that gets me far enough to where I stay in contention or possibly win if someone misses. Now the wall has been raised to 50 inches. Next up, Jordan Kilgannon. Oh. 
You're gonna win. You're gonna win. CJ champion. They can't find the ball though. Gee Dupuy. Next up, that man Jonathan Clark. Hello. Last but not least, Chris Staples. It's time to raise the wall. How's it going? Actually, a lot better than I thought. I've never been jumping over anything that was like, you know, above here. Right now, we're up to, we're up to like right here. We're like over 50 inches right now, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be a little bit harder this time. But I mean, I'm just gonna be safe, try to jump as high as I can. My knees back further and further, and um, dunk with two hands for safety. No one eliminated that round. Let's see how high they can fly. Now we done went from 50 inches to 54 with the wall. Next up, Jordan Kill Cannon. Hello! All the way from Orlando, Florida. CJ Champion. Oh. Guy Dupree. Jonathan Clark. Clark is eliminated. Legs are getting a little tired, so um, it's all good. Not the result I needed, but I think I'm still in a pretty good place, so it's a long, long competition. Just gotta take care of my body and make sure I'm doing everything I can to get to this final and make this 50K. I gotta make it. Here comes that man, Chris Staples. Clark joins the bench, leaving Kill Gannon, Staples, Gee, and CJ. Let's see how far they can go. Now we done gone from 54 to 59. Next up, Jordan Kill Gannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Hello, Kill Gannon, Chris, John, a.k.a. CJ Champion. No prediction. He's out. Big flight. Oh. CJ Champion! Oh, that just did that. Jesus was with him. Go next to it, see how, high, how tall you are today. Real. Wow. Yeah. wow. Here comes that man, Gay Dupuy. Here comes that man, Chris Staples. Oh. Guy Dupuy is out. Kill Gannon, Staples, and CJ still hopping. Up we go to 61 inches. Now we're up to 61 inches at the wall. First up, Jordan Kill Gannon. Hey man, your arm wasn't hurt, man. Pick the man. Your arm wasn't hurt, man. Jordan kill Gannon. That's not human. Right? That's tough. Told you guys, he's tough. I think CJ's going. I don't know, man. CJ is a sleeper. He's a, the biggest sleeper right now. Don't sleep on that guy. 
Shorty Dining Competition. Bouncy. Bouncy. Here comes that man from Orlando, Florida. Christopher John, a.k.a. CJ Champion. That's crazy. I can't believe he got over it though. The double pump that thing. Cause he barely, he barely cleared the last one. That's what's going on. Double pumping it. Double pumping that thing. No smiles yet. No smiles yet. I gotta, I gotta concentrate. Next up from Saginaw, Michigan. Here comes that man, Chris Staples. You hit the wood. Rule is if you knock over the bricks. It depends because it's about the height. So he got the height. He got the height. That's what this is over. Yeah. So I don't have to see the playback, but if that's the case, the, the wall's about the height, though. It ain't about like oh how centered he was, you know? Right, right, right. He cleared the wall. Clearly. After debating with the judges, we're calling it a dunk. Staples cleared the height of the brick wall, but his foot clipped the side. He moves on. Now we just went from 61 to 63. Let's see how high they can fly. Next up, all the way from Canada, Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. And Jordan Kilgannon knocks over some bricks. Next up, my homeboy Chris Staples. can make this one. He wins the competition. To the end of the wall challenge, the final three dunkers, CJ Champion, Kill Gannon, and Staples, could not clear and complete their dunk at 63 inches. The scores have been calculated. The top three get nines, and second place gets straight eights, and so on and so on. But that money is rolling on to that next competition, Twist on the Classic. The winner of Twist on the Classic gets two stacks, and it's an elimination round. Let's get it poppin'. This next challenge is what I call Twist on the Classic. Challenge number 10. Each one of you will recreate a vintage dunk from the past and give your own personal twist on it. You'll each have three minutes to complete it. As always, the judges will be grading you on difficulty, creativity, and execution. And remember, last challenge we pushed the money, so it's a double stack this round. There might be a double stack on the line, but Ball and Kilgannon need to fight to stay alive. They are currently at the bottom of the overall ranking. Let's get it poppin'! Took my money last round. 
robbed us. I feel like you, Jordan, and TJ should have split the money. But it's okay, I'm gonna get my money back. It's revenge right now. Now I, now I have an attitude. Here goes that first man off a twist on a classic, all the way from Alabama, Antoine Ball, AKA Southern Hospitality. I'm gonna do the Dwight Howard Superman. You got it slapping. Oh my gosh. Antoine Ball, go! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh. Being assisted yeah, yeah, yeah. by Young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I'm, I'm right. You got this. Oh my God! Oh. Let's go. Please, okay, let's go, Antoine. That's in the pocket, baby. Let's go. Tough. I couldn't even see the basketball, so I don't know how he did it. Right. I'm gonna give him a nine off effort, man. Next up, all the way from Kalamazoo, Michigan, here goes that man Doug Anderson, aka Big Time Smasher. All right, I'm going to jail green in my socks. My own little toast to it. Okay, that's good. Oh, Got with those socks on. Oh, socks on. Go! Oh, hey! Hold these shoes when you got skill. Oh yeah, I feel great about it. I done out of it best I can with no traction whatsoever. So yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I feel like somebody got to do something super crazy to really top that. And knowing some of these guys, it might happen, but I think I won that. Next up, all the way from Paris, that man Guy Dupuis, AKA the French villain. My twist on the classic one is gonna be the Kobe Bryant between the legs. No, just a lot better. Show me. Let me do it one more time. Oh, the legs. Yeah. Kobe Bryant. Look at him. Check him out. Check him out. <laughs> ask, ask me how many times he is dedicated to Kobe Bryant. Oh, this actually looks familiar. He did the same dunk last year, and he's doing it this year. But he's putting another twist to it right now. Let's check it out. Through the legs over four people. Oh! The champ is having some trouble. Here we go. Oh. Let's go. Huh? Okay. Here we go. Oh. I seen you dunking harder than that before. Oh yeah, for sure. You definitely seen me dunking harder than that one. Next up, here comes that man, Christopher John, AKA CJ Champion. All right, uh, I was thinking Dominic Wilkins reverse pump. I had my own little style to it. Well, let's see it then. CJ Champion, Dominic Wilkins reverse dunk with a twist. Pressure on him, he's gotta get creative all the way. <laughs> okay, I think he must have heard you, John. <laughs> I'll tell you, if that's not a 4-9 or a 5-0, I'll be surprised. This young cat is up and coming, bro. He's doing a lot of dope things out here. Wait till y'all see the end of this. This dude's destroyed this whole damn competition. CJ Chen. Oh! I see you, buddy! <laughs> I'm 
we're the only way up. Fast. Oh, That's good though. You know? See young people coming on the scene and seeing them grow and get yeah. better. Don't try. It's like well, making me proud of them. Y'all ask me what I'm doing, I don't want to tell them what I'm doing. I'm bringing out the big guns. That's what I'm doing. Next up, here comes that man from Saginaw, Michigan, Chris Staples, a.k.a. Everybody Hates Chris. All right, I'm doing the Glenn Robinson from the last slam dunk contest with a twist. Back to you. over a double stack of beef. Let's get it, man. Oh! If he gets this, Chris is the guy right now. This is crazy, bro. This confidence must be in the cosmos for this one. I can't walk. It's crazy. It's not possible. Somebody jumping that high. No push off. Might as well sit on the rim. Here we go! Ah! Man, see, yeah, no. Nah. One minute left, one minute left. It's not, it's not working. Left, if he could change it, left. that's what he's gonna want, need to do, but he's gonna he's going again. You cleared for takeoff. Just do it. Last time. Here we go! That's a call, Aaron Jack. Thank you, bro. Dude, bro. I didn't think he was going to get it. I thought he was out your head right now. I thought he was out his <laughs> mind. <laughs> this is a tough round. Yeah, it's a hard, hard round. Is it something you practiced before? Uh, yeah, I've done it a couple times. It's, it's very, it's in a very explosive way. It's tough. Not too many people can do it. So hopefully the judges appreciate the technicality, the creativity, and the effort. Up next, that man Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. All right, so the classic dunk I chose is Isaiah Ryder's East Bay Funk Dunk. And my twist is gonna be, I'm doing it off vertical. Ooh, okay. My man. Oh, between his legs, how about it? Charles Barkley, what do you think? Oh, I almost missed this. Oh, no, you're good. Hey! Hey! I see you, buddy! Yeah, no, I'm exhausted. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, hip in or anything special, like, I felt all rim and pulled that thing down. That's the first I time I. That's the first time I hit that on dance floor. I don't even need to run. Just all vertical. You know, raw. Let's get it. Dunk move. I don't. I can barely dunk. Two hands, all vertical. He went between his legs. There's not too many people in the world that can do that. Man, that was crazy. Here goes that internet sensation, Jordan Kilgannon, A.K.A. the Met Killer. So I'm gonna do the Glenn Robinson over three. Do you? This is the same classic dunk that Staples did. See, but I knew he was going to do this, huh? I knew he was going to do this. Yeah, if I did, I knew he was going to do it. I don't know. I invented the one. 
I have been. No, 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 you're right. You did the lesser version, the crab. Oh, yeah, do the lesser So you can do it, so you gotta knock it down a hey, bit, right? Hey, no, no. Be like 9% sure and make it for a shot. You killed that. Everybody made their dunk. Everybody did their style. Everybody did their thing, so it's like... Man, that's it's funny. What the, it's what the judges want to do. That was, that was a hard round to judge, but everybody brought their creativity out, and uh, it was impressive. Seeing these guys really come out, and especially Jordan, man, you know, after the last couple of competitions, you know, he was kind of down and out, you know, so he really brought out his game. You know, we're halfway through the contest, and these guys got to pick what they wanted to do, so it was really up to their creativity. Yeah. I feel like you bring out probably your best dunks right about now. The sh sheer athleticism we saw with the Doug and his socks, that was crazy. You know, yeah. Jay Clark's athleticism off yeah. the vert. The vert was Next crazy. Level. Jordan Kilgannon, and I've never seen the Scorpion in person. So to see that in person yeah. was pretty dang impressive, even more so in the video. And then, yeah, yeah like we said, Chris Staples. Chris Staples. Right near the rim doing the, you know, regardless of just reaching back or straight up, it's still crazy. Yeah. Still, so, yeah. That's We just got through wrapping up Challenge 10 Twist on the Classic. These dunkers put their own style to some of the best dunks known to man. Time to rack up that $2,000 and give it to the winner. Man, let's go ahead and count these two racks. $120's, $2,000. And our winner is... Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Sir? No problem. You don't have to count it, we just count it. Okay. What the hell is going on here? No, he just gave some to CJ. So what's that money for? For winning the last round. Because the winners were the last round. Now I'm gonna let you know, son, this is a competition, and sometimes a competition don't be bigger than people's hearts. And this man, Jordan Kilgannon, just dropped off $2,000 for this challenge but he broke it up because in the previous challenge, the top three couldn't make it over the wall, so they had to move over the thousand to this round. So he decided to break it up three ways. Shout out to that man, Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. That's dope. But now we come to that elimination round. The bottom two seeds will go head to head in the dunk off. Let's go to the scoreboard and see who it is. And the bottom two is the man that just won $2,000, Jordan Kilgannon, and the man all the way from Alabama, Antoine Ball, Southern Hospitality. And now we finna go to that dunk generator and see what the challenge is. Dunker's choice is the challenge. Antoine Ball, Jordan Kilgannon, let's get it popping. I was pretty upset to see my own name at the bottom. Still after that win, but uh, it is what it is. Makes it harder, but like I said, it'll make the victory that much better. This right here is the elimination round, Dunker's Choice. They have two minutes on the clock and as many attempts as it takes. First up, all the way from Alabama, here comes that man, Antoine Ball. Go! Oh! Come on, come on. Hello! How do you feel about it? <laughs> Gotta see what he's gonna do. He's a weird guy, so. What you better do? He's gonna windmill over four, and he's gonna punch. Oh, I mean, he can't really punch it that hard because of his 
his hand is hurt, but he's still gonna make it. Screw the hand. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna break his hand on this one. <laughs> Here comes that man, Jordan Kilgannon, A.K.A. the Meth Killer. Uh-oh. One minute left, one minute left. Man, that was tough. Man. I know it hurt too. Go to the judge now. One of you has to go home. Who's it gonna be? We just got through wrapping up that elimination round. Dunker's choice. And it was a unanimous decision. And the winner is... Straight from Canada, that man Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Shout out to that man Antoine Ball representing Alabama to the fullest. You know what it is, Dunkley. Austin is a soldier right now. Antoine Ball, tough. He stayed in the competition a long time. He actually was just. He was silent about a lot of things. He was close in every ranking, so um, suck to see him go. But that's the name of the game, and every round somebody must go. All right, this challenge is called going the distance. It's simple. Each of you will have two minutes to complete a dunk that combines distance and creativity. The further you take it back, the better. The more creative you get from distance, the better. The judges will be taking both into account into their scores. This challenge will be for a stack. Let's take a look at the leaderboard before we start. This is not an elimination round, so you can count your blessings. Here we are at Challenge 11, going the distance. First up, all the way from Orlando, here goes my man Christopher John, AKA CJ Champion. Here we go. Oh! What a start for CJ Champion. Young dude has been bringing the heat to this here competition. Well, first try, so I should get points for that. It didn't go in as clean as I wanted. I gotta punch that. Ball's gotta hit the ground before I do. Next up, that man Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. from distance. Oh, hey man. I haven't won anything yet, man. I'm trying to win something. Next up, all the way from Canada, that man Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Contest is, I hate this contest because everybody's good. <laughs> Damn, I should have taken farther. That felt really easy. I felt like that went perfect. That's like, that went exactly how I wanted it to go. So I'm happy. And that was my right hand. Next up, all the way from Kalamazoo, Michigan, here comes that man, Doug Anderson, aka Big Time Smash. Go! Whoa! 
go. Oh, oh that perfect job. Right. Yeah. Oh, 130. Here we go. Right there. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Huh? Hey, I threw that shit harder than he wanted to. Oh my god. Right now. <laughs> man, man. I feel like it. I feel amazing. Timed it up right. Distance was perfect. I'll take it. Somebody jump in farther than that and do a better dunk. Touche, but I doubt it right now. Furthest with a trick dunk belongs to me. I got it. Next up, all the way from Saginaw, Michigan, here comes that man, Chris Staples, AKA Everybody Hates Chris. Saginaw, Michigan. What it do? Oh, oh my God. Oh! Yeah, that was that was far. Oh! That's the farthest this is right there. Oh, what up? Farther than you. Check that distance, right? Check the distance. Check the Be it. Distance and creativity. You been doing windmills all day. So ain't nothing different about a windmill. It's a windmill. It was like six when you in there. How many windmills you did today? Next, a winner of season one, that man Guy Dupuis, AKA the French villain. Ooh, la la, wee oui, wee. Oui. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hollywood Francais. Let's get it! Let's get it, Gee. Ooh la la, wee wee. Uh oh. Gee is having some trouble. Here we go! Eight seconds. I have never seen the champ, Gee. Had his much trouble finishing a dunk. Oh! And that is it for Guy Dupuis. Guy runs out of time before he can make his dunk. Will our champ be able to reclaim his crown? Yeah, I did, bro. Camera, let's get I can Let's get it that way. I have one more challenge after this one. Right. Yes, sir. Right. And then we're all going home. more than impressed by 80% of those done, maybe 90% of them. I gave out three tens. You had Jordan who 360 from almost the second half in on the free throw line. Then you had Doug who went from the furthest distance up until that point, mm -hmm. windmilled. And then you had Chris take off and kind of like do the Christ air dunk from what was he, he allegedly said the, the furthest at that I point. Mean, so it kept getting better. And um, it was just really hard to score, but a few guys stood out to me more than the others, and uh, I think I I'm confident in my choices. It was a good round, you know, that two feet, man, that distance, man. That's a big factor, man. You know, one foot, jumping off one foot is it's kind of easier, you know, but jumping off two feet, you really got to push, push it to your limit. Good guy who stood out to me was, you know, Chris. Back foot on the free throw line, front foot, you know, on the first hash mark or a little bit in front of it, you know. But I also like Clark. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what he did was real nice, and I really liked it. You saw, you saw the flare with his legs kicking in the air. Uh, I gave actual points for that too, uh, jumping from the distance as far as you could and doing something nasty. So uh, I think a lot of those dudes did that. I mean, you only had one missed dunk, and then everybody did a good job. We just got wrapping up Challenge 11, going the distance. We had some high-flying creativity. Now, before we see who won this challenge, let's count that money.
50, 20s, $1,000. And the winner is... Chris Staples tied up with Doug Anderson with 30 points. Now you know what that means. We have a dunk off for the catch. Now it's a dunk off, let's go to the dunk generator. Best two-handed dunk is the challenge. Let's get it popping. Now we come to that dunk off for challenge 11. Best two-handed dunk, just to see who gets the stack. And first up, with two minutes on the clock, here goes that man from Saginaw, Michigan, Chris Staples. Yeah. I don't even know. I need a plate back. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, thanks, oh, crazy. I want to see that in slum. Hey. Now, here comes that other half of that dunk off. That man all the way from Kalamazoo, Michigan. My man, Doug Anderson, a.k.a. Dougie Fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Oh, oh! now Doug is coming off of being injured. He came back because it was two stacks on the line one. Now he's back again. Let's see what he do. Did Doug Anderson push it too far? Oh, big man Doug Anderson is hurt. Here we go. Three days. I'm sick of dunking against him. Sick of dunking, but he know he's tough. That's tough. He's one tough guy. Seriously, that was a tough dunk too. I, I don't even know anybody who does that dunk. So yeah, both those dunks are insane. Doug's my favorite dunker, so that was powerful and that was just sick. Uh, and then Chris Staples' dunk. I've honestly always wanted to see that dunk in person. Oh shit, Doug's got to get that one. What? Doug's winning that. Doug, bro, Doug. He got to. No, he got to. Right, that's what. What happened now? All right, I'm good, bro. Now we just got through with that dunk off round. Best two handed dunks. And both these fellas came with their A game. But there's only one winner. And that winner is, by unanimous decision, Dunking with a hurt knee. That man all the way from Kalamazoo, Michigan, Doug Anderson, AKA Dougie Fresh. Now that we settle that tie for the stack, let's take a look at that leaderboard and overall stack. Slipping down the last place, our reigning champ, Key Dupuy. Then we have CJ Champion and Jordan Kilgannon tied neck and neck, just ahead of Guy Dupuy. Doug Anderson has a solid lead over the bottom three, but battling through a tweet knee, will he be able to make it to the finals? Jonathan Clark stands strong at second, and Staples stays on top.
This is the last challenge in the Dunk Cathedral before we take it outside for the finals. I call this challenge, class is in session. Professor, come on down here, man. This right here is the elimination round. I'm rolling with royalty, my man, Professor. Now, each dunker has two minutes with the professor. Only rule is, he must be involved in the dunk. He can lob it to you, hold it, or whatever clever idea you might have to incorporate the professor. The judges will score you based on the creativity and difficulty of the dunk. There are six of you, but only five will make it to Dunk League Volume 2 finale. Let's take a look at the leaderboard before we start. My man Guy Dupuis is gonna have to step it up if you wanna make it to that final. Staples is sitting on top with Jonathan Clark and Doug Anderson trailing slightly behind. Who will be our five dunkers entering the finale? Only time will tell. Let's get it poppin'! I don't even know what kind of dunks is about to happen right now. We got a variety of different passes. So, you got to see. I'm tired of taking like second place and third place is like ridiculous. Why not that mother? You can time it. You know how to time that. You got to. Oh, you can't have time. I'll have time. That's what I'm saying. You can time that. First up, Guy Dupuis, aka the French villain. You can practice in the class before you take the exam. Two minutes of dunk. Two. One, go! Ready? All right. Come on, Guy. Oh, 140. Oh, ah. This is the most human I've ever seen. The endurance required for Dunk League is really getting to him right now. He needs to bounce back if he wants to compete for that 50 grand. Oh! 50 seconds left! You got it, Gi. We have never seen Gi struggle like this before. Come on, man. Get money! Don't get frustrated. Relax, boy. Gi's back is against the wall. What you gonna do? There you go! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. The basket between the legs. Ooh, trouble. <laughs> Next up with the professor is that man all the way from Canada, Jordan Kilgannon, a.k.a. the myth killer. That's perfect. That one was perfect. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. The you clock? like to lob a little bit. To lob a little bit. There's no practice for this. Oh, so you weren't going to do it, okay. In three, two, one, go! Oh, man. By far the best pass I've ever had. He could tell the difference in a lot of this, like, you know, this much different. And he, he can go for that, so that was nice. That was easy. First try. Next up, the man that's in class with the professor, that man CJ Champion, aka Christopher John. CJ Champion needs to keep doing what he's been doing to get to the finale. Let's see what the young money brings. I like that. He said he wanted to cut it. He said he will. You make sure people have dreams. <laughs> you gonna make me stop dunking, bro. I think so. Class is in session. Three, two, one. Let's go, CJ. Go! Think. 
Oh, me. That's good, but not perfect. Like, no, it was good. Okay, all right. Best I, I felt like I, I was like, could I have gone a little harder? That was the best you could have done, you know? Okay, good. All right. Next up, that man that's in class with the professor, Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. So, run in how you would? I can go higher. I'll go higher. Yeah. Oh, you like it. Well, I'm that's crazy. I'm doing oh. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> You're a beast, bro. That's what Three, two, one, go! Oh, Doug Anderson test that one. Here we go! Oh. All right, now. 125! 125! Hey, it went this way. Look. Take your time, son. 50 seconds left. Oh, 15 seconds. Get one down, Clark. Get one dark. I don't care what. No matter what, get one down. 10 seconds. Off the glass. Hard or easy? Uh, easy. Okay, ready? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Jonathan Clark did not get to do the dunk he set out to do, but finish it strong by bringing down the rim. Not my best, um... <sighs> happens, though. Next up, Chris Staples, AKA Everybody Hates Chris. Practice, you know it's practice. I practice, ready? practice. Ooh, early, early. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Class is in sets in three, two, one, get back! My knees hurt, man. Just from looking at him? Yeah. Next up is that man Doug Anderson, AKA Big Time Smasher. I don't think I can do it, bro. You saying you, you done for right now? Nah, man, I'm out. Oh, man. I understand it. You gotta do what's best for you, man. I hear you. Unfortunately, due to an ailing knee injury, Doug Anderson has officially bowed out of the competition. That man did not want to jeopardize another dunker's opportunity to get that money. Respect to you, big time smasher, and we hope to see you back and fully recovered next season. Let's take it to the results then. With Doug out, we have our five finalists headed to the finals. Gee and CJ Champion avoided a potential elimination dunk off. So now this challenge came down to the money. Let's count it up. That's 50 20s, $1,000. And the student with the straight A's is... That man, Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Here go that thousand, man. 
Now we just got through wrapping this up. Now we head back to the streets for the finals. Class is out and all that fine public education up there in Canada paid off. Jordan Kilgannon came correct and snatched that stack. Now the semester is officially over. Our reigning champ, Guy Dupuis, was on the brink of flunking, but due to some unfortunate medical circumstances, my man Doug Anderson had to drop out. Headed to the marquee money matchup are Chris Staples, Guy Dupuis, Jordan Kilgannon, J.C. Clark, and that new young blood, C.J. Champion. You already seen that Brooklyn been taking it, but Manhattan is still the place to make it. When I see you again, we'll be out here in these streets, keeping it thorough like only Dunk League can. 50 stacks on the line, that glorious golden rim within reach. I don't like to repeat myself, but I'd be remiss if I don't let y'all know, it is time to get poppin'. Welcome back, people. It's your boy, Mouthpiece, a.k.a. the Black Adam Silver, a.k.a. Commissioner of the Dunk League. We started with 10 men, five remain. This is about survival of the fittest. Now that we out on these streets, the overall point system is gone. White, clean slate. The first challenge is all about you. I call it for my people. It would involve participation from some of you. Now let me introduce you to the final Fab Five. We got the reigning champ. Guy Dupuis clinging on after having some trouble in the Dunk Cathedral. Then there's Jonathan Clark, who has been suspiciously quiet throughout, but consistent and never faced elimination. Jordan Kilgannon battled through an injury in the early rounds, but has since started to turn it up. And the young man CJ Champion is surprising us all with impressive dunks and showing the OGs it's time to move over. Then there's Chris Staples, who has been the most consistent and impressive with his dunks. This is Dunk League. It's anybody's game. Welcome, gentlemen. Y'all made it this far. Your previous scores have been scratched. It's 0 0 beginning now. Whoever takes the next five rounds will win $50,000 and become Dunk League champion. First up, we've got that challenge I call for the people. You got the crowd to use. You can use as many folks as you see fit. And you'll have three minutes to get it done. The winner will get a stack. And the two lowest dunkers will face off a survival. Let's get it popping. First up, all the way from Fresno, California, here comes that man, Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. In three, two, one, go! I got you. This is the uh, signature right here. Jonathan Clark, a true crowd, please. This is signature right here, though. Oh, no. Here we go! Wow! 2.25 left! 2.25 left! Here we go! Come on, now! Paris, that man Guy 
Dupree, aka the French villain. Can the outdoors bring Guy Dupree better results? Here we go! That's tough to see. Like, oh, yeah. I gotta see all five before I can really lock in. Next up, all the way from Orlando, Florida, here goes my man, CJ Champion. You gotta line up like this. Come, come this way. Alright. Hey, so what's what's this right here? CJ! Yeah. CJ! All right. CJ! What's this? What's this right here? Oh. Can the young dude show up on the big stage? Here we go! Make some noise, y'all! CJ Champion! See, that takes away when you do all that. When you, when you do it, that it takes, it takes, it takes everything out of it. When you got the seed, take the seed, and then you don't get it, take everything out of it. Damn. CJ gets the crowd going with that dunk over that man Isaiah Rivera. And next up, all the way from Canada, here comes that man Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Jordan Kilgannon couldn't get it done with his first attempt. is running out. Jordan, what you gonna do? Next up, all the way from Saginaw, Michigan, here comes that man, Chris Staples, AKA, Everybody Hates Chris. Yeah, I don't wanna get 
Chris Staples continuing to finish his dunk. No problem. That was okay. That was, it was a basic, uh, basic dunk. Yeah. Playing the competition. Can take 30 seconds. We just got through wrapping up challenge for the people. I just got those numbers from the judges. And the winner of this here's challenge for the people. That man all the way from Orlando, CJ Champion. Come on, man, and collect your money. $1,000. That man, CJ Champion, proved to be a crowd pleaser. Winning for the People's Champion. CJ Champion just won $1,000 for that round. And now the scores goes as such. Tied for second place, we have J.C. Clark and Gee with 28.5. But the men that are going for that elimination round, Chris Staples, and Jordan Kilgannon. They have to do a dunk off to see who gets eliminated and who goes forward. Let's get it popping. In the cathedral, Chris Staples was on top, but on the streets, he's at the bottom, facing elimination against Jordan Kilgannon. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Seconds. Here we go. Next up in that elimination round, all the way from Canada, here comes that man, Jordan Kilgannon, aka the Myth Killer. Out of Sudbury, Canada, that man, Jordan Kilgannon. One of the favorites coming into the competition, Kilgannon, suffered an injury early on. And my arm's f***ed up, so I can't do anything. Oh! He was able to overcome in advance, winning in two elimination rounds to make it to the finals. Jordan Kilgannon with the arm in the hoop. Next up, all the way from Saginaw, Michigan, that man Chris Staples, AKA, everybody hates Chris. Chris Staples, winner of the Challenge 8, one and done of the Get Your Mind Right Challenge. Here you go, Chris. Chris Staples came into the competition firing and hasn't stopped since. He was at the top spot in the cathedral finds himself up against Kilgannon in elimination. Get hard to do because 
he's not he's not using a prop. He's going up by itself. But see, now it shows what you it shows what you value, though. Do we value props or not? I, I, I value. I do. I value props, but at the end of the day, I value the fact that he actually went up, no props, and that was just straight off. You know what I mean? Now, since these two dunkers was at the bottom of the barrel, they had to do a dunk off. And it was a winner by unanimous decision. All the way from Saginaw, Michigan, that man Chris Staples moves on. Shout out to that man Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer, for coming down and repping for Duck Lee Volume 2. Everybody, give it up for Jordan Kilgannon. I mean, I think it was a close call. I think it's like, whenever I lose, like, I never make it about, like, whether the judges messed up or not. It's, it's what I could have done better. So all that's going through my head right now is like, what should I have done better? I'm trying to improve, right? So that's, that's all that's going on in my head. Staples didn't kill Gannon, pack it. Jordan killed Gannon is gone. And we have our final four dunk. Right here, here comes my man, CJ Champion. CJ won the last competition. Can he keep his Cinderella story alive in this round to make it through? Let's see. You gotta, you gotta do something better than that. You just gonna windmill all these? Better do something that's more spicy than that. I mean, that's, that was a crazy. You get something like that, that's crazy, but. Three minutes! Three minutes. You here for a reason. Make it happen, CJ! Oh, that was, hey, that was a crazy windmill, though. You got it! Hey, that was crazy. And he needed he needed that. He needed that. That is the first time ever off of a lob that the Scorpion has been done. Big up to CJ Chapman. <laughs> Representing out of California IA, Jonathan Clark, aka. The Jumper! Jay Clark hasn't won a competition yet. Can he step up and win this one before it's too late? Oh, he, oh he's trying to touch it with his toes. Uh, that's, that's tight. It's tight, but it's not. We saw what a 10 would look like. Jonathan Clark showed him what 10 looks like. Oh! Hey! Say that! Say that! Yeah! Say that! Say that! Hey! Take that! Take that! We got plenty of time! Take your time! Breathe! Breathe! Calm it down! Let's go! Let's go! Work! Call 
somebody. Talk to him. Next up, the returning champion of last year, the man that needs subtitles when he talking, Guy Dupuis, a.k.a. the French villain. Guy Dupuis was on the verge of elimination. He's here now trying to prove that he's still the best. Will he reclaim his throne? Show us what you got. He almost kicked me in my face. He almost kicked me in my face. One minute left. Next up, here comes my man Chris Staples, a.k.a. Everybody Hates Chris. Chris Staples was on top, but facing an elimination round in For the People. He needs to step it up this round. Oh, no. He just can't throw it that hard. You spend it too much time, Chris. You spend it too much damn time.
Man, we just got through wrapping up one of the most electrifying rounds yet. We got those results from the judges and we got a tie for first. And the tie is CJ Champion and JC Clark for the thousand. They're going to have a dunk off to see who gets this money. And in the two bottom spots, we have Chris Staples and Guy Dupuis. They have to battle it out in an elimination dunk off. And this round here for both dunk offs is Dunker's Choice. They will have a minute to warm up and a minute to do their dunk. We've got another double dunk off. Let's get it poppin'. Here we go for that thousand dollar dunk off. All the way from Fresno, California, Jonathan Clark, AKA The Jumper. Too. Next up, all the way from Orlando for that dunk off of one thousand dollars. Here, that man is CJ Champion in three, two, one, go. We have a friendship developing here in Chris Staples and Guy Dupuis. That friendship comes to an end here. Someone is going home, either the defending champion or the number one in season two. And next up, for that elimination dunk off, here goes that man from Saginaw, Michigan, my man Chris Staples, AKA, everybody hates Chris. In three, two, one. Go! I'm interested to see if they come with you. Chris Staples just set the bar very high for that man Guy Dupuy. Nobody, nobody does that in contest. He's the only man that can do that in a contest. We see him do it one time in FIBA and that was it. Nobody else is going to be doing that. So. I'll go home on that, I'll go home on that. He gonna need a big one though. He gonna need something nice. Now next up for that elimination round, here comes that man that was champion last year, Guy Dupuis, AKA the French villain. In three, two, one, go. Let's go, son. Take it. For sure. You need one more. And that's, that's not, I don't see that working. This is a doozy. Hello! Mr. Guy Dupuy. Guy Dupuy. Perry comes through for the first inaugural Dunk League Championship. Yeah, give him my money. Give him my money. My man, Guy Dupuy.
Oh, oh, oh. oh wait. Now we just got through wrapping up two dunk offs. One for the money, one for elimination. The winner in the dunk off for the stack is all the way from Fresno, California, that man Jonathan Clark, AKA the jumper. <laughs> 50 of them things, man. Yeah, no. And now, to the dunk off for elimination. These two dudes are definitely well respected, but there can only be one winner. And that winner is... All the way from Saginaw, Michigan, that man, Chris Staples. Give, give a round of applause for that man, champion of last year, Guy Dupuis. You know, if we're gonna talk about chances, I took my chances in every dunk contest for 15 years, and that's what a lot of people forget. Because they see me jump now and they be thinking that I just got into the game. When I've been here, when these guys are still wearing diapers. My hero, dog. Still my hero. So now I, I see the difference, that now it's just, my body is, is a lot more different. But that problem is only can be fixed by me only. You know, nothing comes easy, so I go hard every time I can. Now we have three remaining, heading to our next challenge, D-U-N-K. Let's get it poppin'. Y'all already know what to do. I'm your commish mouthpiece, AKA the Black Adam Silver. With three dunkers left, it's time to see who has that old school New York boom bap left in their step. 50K is on the line. This next round is called D-U-N-K just like horse, but with dunking only. We're gonna play a less forgiving version of the classic game. If the first dunker makes his dunk, the following two must also complete the exact same dunk. If one of them doesn't make it, they get a letter. But if they both make the original dunk, then the dunker who started it will get a letter. There's no mercy, so be careful what you throw up. First dunker who gets all four letters, D, U, N, a loses while the other two dunkers will battle it out until another has lost. The winner gets a stack and advances to the championship. The other two dunkers will compete in the dunk off for that same right. Let's get it popping. First up, Jonathan Clark, followed by CJ Champion, and that man, Chris Staples. Let's get it poppin'. First up, that man, Jonathan Clark. That duck is called the back scratcher of Vert. If I'm Jay Clark, it's all Vert. All Vert, son. Next up, CJ Champion. CJ must make the same duck. Up next, with the new dunk, Chris State. Lord almighty. Oh. Chris feeling so good tonight. Legs are feeling good. That dunk is called Price Dare. Now Jonathan Clark must complete the Christ Dare dunk. Yeah. See that coming? That's okay. <laughs> Up next, with the new dunk, CJ Champ. Oh! East Bay dunk it is. Chris Stables 
must make an East Bay dunk, or he'll get his first letter. Light. Easy. Stupid light. <laughs> Easy. Now, if Jonathan Clark finishes the dunk, CJ will get a letter. Let's get it. Well, he would have killed him with that one. He, he would have killed him with that one. Right. Next up, mm -hmm. Chris Staples, aka Everybody Hates Chris. Step, like. oh. The drop step duck. Drop step duck. Next up, that man Jonathan Clark. Jonathan Clark gets D and U. Next up, that man CJ Champion. <laughs> Next up, all the way from Saginaw, Michigan, Chris Staples. Hey. Next up, Jonathan Clark with a new dunk. CJ has to get one or else he gets an end. If CJ misses, he gets the cake. CJ, 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 CJ is automatically in the elimination round. He will go head to head with whoever loses in between Clark and Staples. My man, Chris Staples. Oh, oh, oh. Do 
the same dunk. The swing dunk. Let's go. You got it. Seven, 48, 49, 50 of them things, man. You know what it is. Give Chris Staples a round of applause. <laughs> DJ and Jonathan Clark will go for the elimination round. Dunk off. They each get one minute and as many attempts as they can do. First up, that man all the way from Fresno, California, my homeboy Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. Jonathan Clark has quietly made his way to the top. He's been the most consistent one here, ending up in the top five almost every round. Can he redeem himself from season one? No! Wrong. Let's get it. Dunk me. In three, two, one, go! Watch the ball. Watch the ball. Windmill duck. Like, like, it's easy. Easy. <laughs> Next up, all the way from Orlando, Florida, 
CJ Champion, aka CGI. CJ Champion. It's a battle against myself, to be honest. CJ Champion has shocked the world this past week. He showed up and slammed down plenty of dunks, even getting so much bounce to be the only one to get over the wall at 63 inches. He has shown that he is the future. Can he pull off another miracle here? Come on, with Three, two, one, go! <laughs> round in that challenge D-U-N-K. J.C. Clark winds up moving on to face that man Chris Staples in the championship. But I definitely got to give props to the man that came into this competition to some people that he definitely looked up to and outlasted. That man, C.J. Champion. Right now, I, I feel blessed. I'm not upset, I'm not sad. I'm just, I'm real happy I got to make it this far and really show out. I'm getting props from Elevator right now. <laughs> I don't even believe it. I can't, I can't believe I looked up to these guys so much. And I never thought I'd be competing against them like this and actually, actually taking it further and beating them. So now I know I can compete with the best. Now with that being said, the next round is the round that everybody here came for. The $50,000 championship coming up next. Let's get it popping. Welcome back to our Dunk League Volume 2 finale. I got the two finalists here, my man Chris Staples and that man Jonathan Clark, ready to go ahead and collect $50,000 and that Golden Rim Trophy. You made it to the final match. We're going to make it simple. Each of you have five minutes to complete three dunks of your choice. You may complete more than three dunks, but you have to choose which three will be scored by the judges. Let's get it popping! First up, to make his way to that $50,000, that man all the way from Fresno, California, my man Jonathan Clark, AKA The Jumper. Oh, wait, that was my first time making that. I gotta do that again. If you put in the work, the, the, the results are gonna show, and at the end of the day, we're gonna find out who is the best prepared. And now it's time to showcase uh, what I've been training to do and uh, prove to everybody, prove to myself that, you know, I am, I am one of the best dunkers, if not the best dunker in the world. And three, two, one, go! Oh, 
got it. over three people for Clark. 50000 dollars man. You gotta jump out of the world, homeboy. Let's get Behind the back. Come on. Come on. You got it all, boy. You got it. Being helped out. He's not going to cut it, man. Staples is down with two. Two crazy guys. Clark is struggling. He has to make this if he wants to stand out to the judges. I like that, John. You like that? Oh, yeah, I like that. East Bay over three. 360 two-handed behind the back. And the backflip straight off a vert two-handed dunk. I left it all on the line. Now next up, Chris Staples, AKA. Everybody hates Chris. It's like a dream come true. It's to do something I love every day, you know? I don't know how long this wave is going to like last and you know, how long I'll be able to dunk, but as long as I can contribute to the game and, you know, evolve the game as much as I can, and, you know, you have to go out there and actually work to make, make that dunk happen. I want to make the impossible possible. I know what I need to do, I know what I have to take care of, and just make it happen. Over four people for Staples. Starting off strong. Uh oh. Shit just got real. One handed behind the back with a prop. Staples, what are you doing? That's how they go on me in Saginaw? Let me know.
Man, you need to stop that. 230 left. Michigan is depending on you. Uh oh. Hello. Ah, get money. Puerto Rican airbender is back. One minute left. What it do? Oh! Scorpion over a person. Chris Staples chooses his best three dunks. Windmill over four people. Scorpion over one. And 360 double under the leg. We just got through wrapping up Dunk League Volume 2, the finale. And these two dunkers came and showed they A game. But only one can walk away with the $50,000 and the Golden Rim Trophy. And the man with the perfect score of 30 is none other than the man from Saginaw, Michigan, that man, Chris Staples. Gotta send a special shout out to that man that represents out of Fresno, California. That man, Jonathan Clark, aka the Jumper, for making it this far and holding it down for his city. Give it up for Jonathan Clark. It's stage right now, but I know uh, when I sit back and look at everything, you know, I gave it, I gave it my all. Chris was a better man today. Killed it, did his thing. So. Uh, Big shout out to Chris and a big shout out to all the competitors. I mean, nothing happens when you get the best dunkers in the world uh, together. It's, it's going to be a dog fight. I know I'll be back next year. Uh, ready to get Chris around for his money. It means a lot to win a competition against some of the best dunkers in the world. Uh, it went down to the wire. Jake Clark gave me a run for my money. Uh, right now, I just want to go back home, enjoy this, enjoy this moment, and uh, get back to work. I mean, you know. I never stopped. I love, I love this game. I love uh, the sport. I'm definitely gonna see me again. I'm gonna come back and defend this. You know? It was a dog fight, and it came down to one man and one man only. That man, Chris Staples, AKA Everybody Hates Chris, the Dunk League Volume 2 champion. But be sure to tune in for Dunk League Volume 3 coming to you next. And as always, let's get it poppin'.